Today, I am here to talk about bullying. Yes, such a cliche topic, isn't it? You already know all the jazz on how bad it is, how you shouldn't do it, how you should tell a teacher if it happens. So, since you all already know so much, I am here to ask you questions. I am just a student, or better yet, just an imperfect human, so different from you. Yet, not so different, are we? The bullies, I ask you, I know people talk, believe me, I go through it. Ignore it and let go away, that's what, I, what they say, isn't it? Don't give them a reaction, don't let them know it bothers you, but it's so hard not to react when their words hurt, isn't it? Confidently we walk for life's a journey to embark, that self-confidence cripples with every snide remark. We stutter, we get so shy, we lose that lovely spark. That spark of boldness, it's gone, so it just seems dark. Dark and cold, I'm sure we shiver, cold feet. I'm not good enough, I admit defeat. But I didn't even try, foolish let the bullies judge me. They don't know me, do they? They just see what they want to see. I have wit, I have brains, if they talk, I can talk back. I'll show them what I'm made of, I have qualities they lack. I'm not below them, I'll show them, I'll let the shyness crack. I'll go on the stage for life and mend myself with tax. It's not going to be easy, it's not supposed to be, because life, for you're cutting into frozen butter with a plastic knife. Frozen butter, your potential, plastic knife, you're going to get it back. You have to be strong, the knife might break, you have to stay intact. Some of you, though, are introverts, you don't wish to go on stage. You work in silence, often free of rage. But they come to torment you, interrupting your peace and quiet. But I'd say, to attain peace back, you have to speak up, be part of the riot. Self-defense isn't a bad thing, mental, emotional or physical. Just try not to stoop to the level, don't carry on the ritual. Try not to become the bully, try not to go too far. Seek exterior help when safe. Said helpers may not seem great, but they really, really are. Not so different, are we? Imperfect humans working towards that perfect dream. The bullies, I ask you, you hurt me, torment me, belittle me. Why? Just because you can't accept that someone else made you cry? You carry on a legacy of the bully and the bullied. Tell me I'm proud. Has your insecurity been freed? You calling me fat won't make you look perfect. You calling me skinny won't make you look cool. You calling out my imperfections won't make you feel worth it. You pushing me down, you seem like a fool. But I know it wasn't your life goal to be me. You just trying to fit into the messed up society. You feel the burden and you don't wish to be reminded that you're not perfect. But you forget you are just human. So you remind me that I'm not perfect. Yes, you're just passing on the burden. Because deep down you know, the one can be perfect. Won't you tell me why you like this? Won't you tell me who hurt you first? Just stop and spectators, I ask you, does it feel good standing in the crowd, watching the drama unfold? Just because you forget your own for a little bit, watching such whole? Don't you feel empathy for the one that gets hurt? You didn't do anything. It wasn't your fault. I'm too impar- I too sometimes am part of the background cast. When a scene unfolds, if unpleasant, I try and stop it. Fast. But I do get scared th- sometimes. Silent in the crowd. I hyperventilate and I leave when it gets too loud. We spectators hold so much more power than we're ever given credit for. But it is sort of our fault. For we almost never open our power vault. Not so different, are we? Just spectators, much more important than we seem. Put yourself in each of these categories. See where you fit in. Maybe in all three, maybe in just one. But ask yourselves, are you okay with how you handle it?